Look at that snake. Look. Did you see? Immediately after leaving Istanbul, first problem. I had a cut in my tire and uh, the sealant wouldn't, uh, wouldn't seal the hole. So I used uh, half of this and I stick it into the tire. And that's how you repair uh, uh, tubeless flats uh, or cuts that uh, the sealant that is inside the tire doesn't uh, doesn't seal because the cut is too big um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna pump it and uh, let's see if it works finger crossed that's down there it's Istanbul as you can see I'm uh, pretty high up I forgot what uh, climbing is because I haven't done any climbing ever since Ethiopia, so yeah, it's tough. It's 500 meters of elevation gain, straight up. Not a little descent, nothing. Okay, but uh, it's 200 meters, and then uh, it should be a long descent, basically 500 meters down again. It's the last. The last tiny bit of climbing. And now I'm descending to that lake. I'm not sure if you see it, but uh, I'll descend down there and go around three quarter of the lake. And uh, my host in, uh, well, my warm shower host in Istanbul has a house there and uh, their son is there. So I think I will spend the night uh, with him. So let's hope to get there before it's dark. Let's go and find bodies. Super late, but this dirt road should uh, take me to the shore of the lake, and then I'll have to I'll have to go around, uh, yeah, like three quarter of the lake. Let's see if I can. Uh, if I can get there before it's too dark. But yeah, if I get there, I should have a bed for the night, which is good. Otherwise, I can also pitch my tent somewhere. That's uh, not a big deal. I don't know if there is anything I hate more than rain. I come from that storm there and uh, it's not raining here. But I'm going in that direction, I think. And uh, just drying my shower spas gear, rain gear. And, uh, and then I'll hit the road. That's not what you think. That's my campsite for the night. I'm at the sports center of uh, the municipality of the council. And uh, I just pitched my tent for the night. My bike, my tent, everything is, is already set there. 
And here I have electricity to charge my phone and my uh, batteries. All good. I was soaking wet. I was really cold. But I'm gonna have a warm night and I have water and I can wash myself a little bit. Cold water, but what can you do? I'm going slowly because I'm holding my camera with my hand and I don't want to fall I'm so glad it's not raining, I can tell you this much. Today, I would hope because I don't see any higher peak, but I still have two hills to climb. Well, two climb, and then I should arrive to my host house. But now, down here, guys, follow me. that I broke my chain I'm really upset this was a new chain and uh, yeah it was my fault because uh, I put my chain on the on the small chain ring but at the back it was on the smallest cock and then I turned the bike around because I got the wrong uh, trail and uh, I put too much force and going up and yeah, I broke it. See, it's, uh, I have too much uh, power in my legs. That's the problem. Let me double check where we are going. Yeah. Okay. Follow the trail on the right. Down to the road. Okay.
Is there a trail here? I don't think many people is doing this trail. Okay, let's see. There is a turning point here. This is where we're going. Oh, hopefully, there is no wind here. Let me see it. Yesterday, I was told that in uh, Turkey there is something called the Sophie Trail. It's a pilgrim uh, trail that usually people hike or bike. I asked many people if they could suggest me if there was uh, some dirt I could do, some trails and uh, so far I didn't find uh, anything in, uh, in uh, Turkey but uh, on my quest uh, to follow dirt and secondary small road I left Istanbul basically following the the Sofi trail. It was very close, very similar. And then when I got to the town yesterday, uh, my host told me, you know that this route is uh, basically the, the Sofi trail. And I was like, what's the Sofi trail? Yeah, it's this, this one trail, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and this morning I checked out the website, sofitrail.com, and I sent in an email uh, and uh, to get some uh, GPX tracks to follow and it was basically the, the, the same route that uh, I was following so this is the Sofi Trail I hope you'll, uh, you'll enjoy it with me Well, I think we need to go left, guys. Left. Oh, 
left and up. Roller coaster. It's a paved road, but it is nice anyway. I'm really enjoying today. Luckily, it didn't rain. the village graveyard Let's see maybe you can see better see that's the graveyard all this is a graveyard I don't know why they let the vegetation overgrown into the, the graveyard, but it's kind of nice, no?
hope this is the last climb for the day. I think it is, I think it is. Not sure if I have to dig out my jacket because it's kind of cold. just broke the front hub of my bike I don't know if you can see but yeah it's it's broken see that it's moving I am uh, 20 kilometers from my host house the town is uh, 10 kilometers so I'm conflicted uh, to either ask my host to come here and pick me up or to go to town and uh, find a mechanic but it's already 8.30 at night I don't know. maybe I should ask my host to pick me up and then uh, go to town in the morning to fix the wheel yeah City, how sad it is. I'm sorry, Felicity. We will fix you. Good morning, guys. I'm here at this uh, bike house. It's like Casa de Ciclista in uh, in Turkey. Eskishir is the name of the, the place. And this is what happened yesterday. My hub failed miserably. So now I'm gonna walk to a bike shop and try to rebuild the wheel. I need a new hub. So I need a, a new hub, the central part of the wheel. And so I'll have to take the whole wheel apart and, uh, and find someone that can piece it back together properly because building a wheel is like art uh, there's very very few people that can do it properly but uh, finger crossed 